But it has been a, a glorious day here and the royal couple came down, went onto the sand. They didn't kick off their shoes, but they were presented with a surfboard for Prince George. Now, it wasn't a miniature one, but rather a full-size six-foot surfboard. And I think the idea is they're trying to encourage him to come back when he's 18, on a gap year maybe, and he can hit the surf then. But they also met lots of youngsters doing a surf life-saving uh, uh, drill, a bit of a display, um, by the Little Nippers. Now these are kids who get together at the weekend to learn all about beach safety and of course they were delighted to meet the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. In fact, children have featured quite heavily in events today. Uh, earlier they went to Bear Cottage. This is a children's hospice, one of only two children's hospices in Australia and we know it's a cause that's particularly close to Kate's heart. Uh, they met children, they met their parents and they met many of the, the carers and the staff who do such uh, incredible work there and Kate delivered her speech. Now it's only the second time that she's spoken in public, she delivered that speech flawlessly and as, uh, as well as um, commenting on the good work that is done at the hospice, she also wanted to thank Australia as a whole for making her and her family so welcome. If I may, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's welcomed me and George so incredibly warmly on our first visit. To be here as a family has been very special and we'll always remember it with friends and happy members. Thank you for inviting us here for such a generous welcome. The Royal Easter Show is a massive event here in Sydney. Hundreds of thousands of people go every year to the showground to see sheep shearing, plus a whole variety of other events. And Kate and William were there, and there was a little bit of fun at the alpaca wool stand. Kate was shown some alpaca wool. Uh, she commented it was the same colour as William's hair, and maybe he could make use of it. I think she was poking fun at his bald patch.